So my name is Kai Zhang from uh, Norfolk State Uni University. I'm a PhD student. So today uh, we will de uh, demonstrate the uh, squid superconductor quantum uh, interference uh, de device. In a squid magnetometer, the sample is moved through an external magnetic field. A pickup coil links to a superconducting detector loop with parallel Josephson junctions. A magnetic flux from the moving sample interrupts the superconducting loop. An applied bias current reestablishes the superconducting loop and indicates the magnetism of the sample. The first step is to refill the squid device with liquid helium at 4.2 kelvins. A tube yeah, is down. used to siphon helium down. from the doer into the device. Down. The computer reports the progress of the filling. The rate should be slow at about 2.5% per minute, and it is filled to 90%. To contain the helium, a positive gas pressure is applied from the external tank. The fill tube is removed, being careful to keep its ends level. Press remove on the control panel to vent the chamber. The sample tube is at the end of an insertion rod. After the sample is loaded, the chamber is purged. Enter the sample name, mass, area, and length. Set the magnetic field to 500 Ersted. Initialize the transport to move the sample into the chamber. Click full DC scan. The curve is centered at 2 centimeters. Different program sequences establish the conditions for the measurement. For example, it can be programmed to measure the magnetism as the temperature is changed from 350K to 10K, establishes a 50 OE field, and then scans from 10K to 350K. In this output, the zero field cooled ZFC line shows the magnetism over a range of temperatures with no magnetic field. The field cooled FC line shows the sample magnetism with an applied 500 OE field as the temperature range is scanned. For superparamagnetic nanoparticles, the process is irreversible and the FC and zero FC curves separate. A number of other curves can be generated. The magnetic moment plotted against the magnetic field is not a straight line for a superparamagnetic material. This curve shows a ferromagnetic property with a hysteresis loop. 